Good afternoon, everyone. It's Paul here. Um, I'm going to make an announcement that uh, me and a few friends of mine are going to be starting a ministry called Benevolent, Benevolent from Above. It's in its infancy right now, so just wanted to put that out there. And I've been away for a few days because God gave me one of the most powerful and scariest dreams I've ever seen. It completely destroyed me. He, uh, he made me feel what I'm only assuming is how he feels watching his children destroy each other. And I didn't know how to handle it. <laughs> So I have a very powerful couple of dreams to tell you about. I had to do a lot of praying on this. In fact, I'm going to pray before I even reveal this to you guys. I ask this in the name of Jesus, Holy Father. Give everyone watching this video the Holy Spirit's guide to understand and see what I'm trying to say through your visions and your dreams that you've given me. Holy Father, we worship you. We try to understand everything you're trying to tell us <clears throat> to help the church. Please, Holy Spirit, give everyone that's watching this the discernment needed to understand this message. Amen. Um, I, I don't even know how to explain what this was. I'll just go right into the dream. Um, this dream took place in a predominantly... Hebrew black area, so I'm going to assume it was Africa. I don't know what else to make of it. Um, the first dream was I saw this kind of a gangland area. It looked like um, men and women of all ages. Nothing they were doing was good. I saw like a nightclub with dancers and people were stripping and I saw... Outside, I saw people being dragged up these stairs and onto the rooftops and severely abused and severely beaten and other things I don't want to mention I saw. I saw, this was a very old, rough area. No buildings in this area seemed new. It was a very old area. Um, I saw people charting or pulling jugs of wine everywhere. I saw people pouring this wine on people's faces and their faces were dissolving. In fact, they were pouring it on people and the bodies were decaying and dissolving. don't know what this means, um, <clears throat> but their faces and their bodies were completely dissolving. Um, this first dream happened at 3.31 in the morning. And uh, the second one... I woke up, prayed, got back to bed, fell asleep again. And then I was in the wilderness in the middle of what seemed like an Amazon jungle. And I saw people running for their lives. And I mean in the hundreds, running as fast as you'd hear gunshots in the back. And um, all of a sudden I got to this bridge and I, I witnessed people were, th well, hang on, let me reword that. They were making a bridge over a water piece, like a river with dead bodies they were piling them up to be able to run over this river and again i apologize for the graphicness of what i'm saying the the horrible part was they were babies and they were children it wasn't adults they were using and, and destroying and killing babies and children and piling them up on each other to be able to go over this very large river of muddy water <clears throat> and then the scene jumped to and this one I'm confused about. I saw these two women who I later discovered were nurses. And they were running with a test tube baby. The baby was alive in a tube. A very big one. But I couldn't make sense of this. And um, they kept screaming and, and freaking out. Saying they needed saving. They needed saving. And the hike and the journey they were taking through these woods was very long. And... Even though it was a fast dream, I got the feeling this was a long journey to get away from who they were running for, and their goal was to get to a hospital. And that's where it ended. So, again, when I'm going to say this next part, please ask the Holy Spirit to give you discernment on what I'm going to say, because this is very graphic. <clears throat> and I'll do my best to add pictures to this that I can find to try to make it 
as serious as what I saw. So in the first dream I found, <clears throat> I was looking for a gang, but I found gangster. That's symbolic of a group of demons. And it was a Hosea 7-1. Whenever I would heal Israel, the sins of Ephraim are exposed and the crimes of Samaria revealed. They practice deceit, thieves break into houses, bandits rob in the streets. I was looking for dancers, but I found dancing. Symbolic, if people are dancing in a nightclub, it can be a symbolic of a wild lifestyle. 1 Peter 4.3 For you have spent enough time in the past doing what pagans chose to do, living in debauchery. <laughs> I'm sorry, I remember. I'm remembering what I saw. Lust, drunkenness, orgies, carousing, and detest detestable idolatry. What he showed me was horrible. At one point, <clears throat> I saw a tow truck pulling a car away. I didn't know what it meant. I found towed away, symbolic of helping others. It was in Isaiah 1, 31. And the strong shall be less, shall be as a tow, and his work a spark. Both will burn together, and none shall quench them. I was looking for old rough buildings, and I did find buildings. <clears throat> Symbolic of an area and places where you frequent. Any place where people come together can manifest itself as a building in a dream. I found roof, a damaged roof can be symbolic of laziness, which is in Ecclesiastes 10.18. By much slothfulness the building decayeth, and through idleness of, of the hands the house droppeth through. I found stairs, symbolic of step-by-step step, step step progression towards a goal. I found abused and fighting was the Psalms 11.5. The Lord uh, trieth and righteousness, righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violent, his soul hateth. There was a Psalms 37.9. For evildoers shall be cut off by those that wait upon the Lord. They shall inherit the earth. Amen. I found wine, symbolic of Christ's blood and the forgiveness of sin which was Matthew 26, 28. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of vine from now on <clears throat> until the day when I drink it in anew with you and my Father's kingdom. And that was the end of the first dream. I wish I could show you guys My head's on fire right now with the Holy Spirit. It's horrible. This is what the Lord has to watch on a daily basis. It's given me a whole understanding of what we have to do to turn our hearts. I don't know if I'm seeing a scene of tribulation or what I'm being shown, but you do not want to be left behind. I cannot stress that enough. I'm leaving out a lot of stuff that I saw visually that I will not add on this. I'll stick to the dream. Dream two, when I started in the wilderness, a place of spiritual dryness was Amos 525, or solitude for a time training in life. It was in Matthew 4.1. So, Amos 525. Have you offered unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness? Forty years, O house of Israel. I'm going to assume that's after the, the rapture out of Egypt. And then Matthew 4, 1. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. I found bridge, symbolic of crossing over a new place in life. John 14, 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the truth in the life. No one comes to my Father except through me. I came across a Romans when I was moving on. and I, For the wages of sin is death, 
but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And I came across a Nahum 2.6. Forgive me if I'm saying that wrong. Um, the gates of the rivers shall be opened and the palace shall be dissolved. And then I found children, symbolic of God's blessing, joy, and peace, which was a Zechariah 8.5. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. I found baby. Babies can be symbolic of a new life, a new thing being brought into a person's life. Sorry. Isaiah 429. A baby is also symbolic of a gift of God. So the Isaiah 42 9 is behold the former things are come to pass and the new things do I declare before they spring forth I tell you of them Psalms 127 3 is children are a heritage from our Lord offsprings a reward from him dissolved was 2 Peter 3 11 since all these things are thus to be dissolved what sort of people ought you to be in the lives of holiness and godliness. I looked for piled up children who were dead and I was very shocked to find there was things like this in the Bible. I'm again, just so you have an understanding of when I'm searching, I'm currently in the prophecies. I've read the New and the Old Testament. I'm in the prophecies right now. I'm finishing up Isaiah. So sometimes I come across things that are ahead of what I've read, and this was one of them. I'm now past it, but at the time, this, this was a dream I had last week on the Sabbath morning. And normally I would have put it out, but I was so distraught of what I had seen. that Today is Thursday. It took me this long to curry up the nerve, the, get the courage to do it. So Isaiah 31, uh, our rebellion, no, the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel but not of me and that cover with the coverings but not in my spirit that they may add sin to sin people without God just continue sinning worse and worse muddy water is a symbolic of an impure doctrine stagnant living and spoiled or foul environment um, it's a Proverbs 25 26 somebody's called a, re a righteous man falling down before the wicked is as troubled fountain and the corrupt spring. I found nurse, symbol symbolism of caring and helping. A Luke 10.34. I found 10.34 was, uh, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Sorry, somebody's trying to get a hold of me. <laughs> Let me start that over. Luke 10.34 Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I am not to in peace but a sword. And the second one was 1 Thessalonians 2.7 But we were gentle among you, even as a nurse cherished the children. And hospital, symbolic of a place of healing, which was a Luke 4.8 The Spirit of the Lord is upon, a, is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, the recovering, the sight of the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. While I was doing this, um, it's kind of, I don't, I'm not going to absolutely say this was the Holy Spirit, but a thought came in my head. And it was anything from God, anything from God is a clear thing. He is not a God of confusion. He never is, never will be. So whenever you have these confusing or bad thoughts, that is not of God. That is from the enemy. And everlasting and eternal is the same thing. That's God. He is everlasting. He is eternal. He is the beginning. He is the end. Who is the mystery of God? These, this came to me as I was writing this. And then just to continue this, baby referred to a baby in the first dream, the test tube. This really bothered me. I could not find anything on IV. Well, 
when I was looking for test tubes, I arrived at a blog site that talked about IVF babies. And before I say what I'm going to say, I want you to know this is not my opinion. This is what I arrived at finding. It was just a bit of research. I'm not judging. I don't have the right to judge anybody. So I'm only giving information. Please understand this is just what I found. So I came to this IVF babies, man-made playing creator, question of biological sources. And I'll leave that at that because it went on to talk about how there's like 4.3 million IVF babies in the world. And some guy on the blog site gave an opinion saying that he thought that um, maybe they weren't meant to have babies and they played science and creator. And then there was all this questioning of if those babies have souls. And that's where I stopped watching it because I thought it was ridiculous. So I'll leave it at that. So I, again, need saving is a Matthew 19, 25, 26. When disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and asked, who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. And there was a Romans 3.8 with need saving. Why not say, as sure seriously, slanderously claim, that we say, let us do evil, that God may result. Their condemnation is just. Please reread that one, Romans 3.3. Me personally, didn't get it. I'd rather have an interpreter look at it and explain it to me on comments. I would really appreciate that. And then finally, I woke up at 3.31 in the morning. So 3, 3, and 1 is 7, which is one of God's holy numbers. And I wrote here a Bible verse. And what I did is I went to the third book. And I went to the third verse, 1. So here's what I got. And if, and if his oblation be a sacrifice of peace offerings, if he offer it to, to be heard, whether it be a male or a female, he shall offer it without blemish before the Lord. And it was also attached to John 3.31. He who comes from abuse is above all. Uh, hang on. He who comes from above is above all. He that is from earth is earthly and speaks, speaks it to the earth. He who comes from heaven is above all. And the very last one was hikes, because they were hiking in the woods. Symbolic of a path, a long journey you are following. Now, I'm leaving it at that. I open this to all of you in comments. And an interpreters out there. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that. I love you all. Take your salvation seriously. Walk with God. Become his bride. Turn away from the world. Turn away from the world. Be as Jesus does. When the time comes for the gathering, the harvest, you want to be you want to be in the gathering. Trust me. I've been shown a few things now. The violence is going to be at a level that w your mind cannot even fathom. And I was not shown in either of those dreams what they were running from. The terror in their face was incredible. It was incredible. I don't know the source of what was killing these children. I Did I hear a few guns? Yes, but... I don't think that's, I think that might have been self-defense, whatever they were running from. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it at that. I love you all. Please take this to prayer. I love you. Bye-bye. Okay,